All right, everyone, we're inside after a nice harvest um, of mostly tomatoes. One of my tomato plants, one of my sun gold cherry tomato plants died. Um, it got fusarium wilt late in the season. And there's a lot of clusters that were just left on the vine, left to ripen without really the plant's help. And some of them actually did turn orange, which I expect most of them to. But the ones that have turned orange are really still not even that great. And the ones in between, the green ones, the ones that are still not fully orange yet, I've decided we're going to pickle these. Now, my great-grandfather has a recipe that he's used for years. Um, he's passed now, but his recipe still lives on, and I usually make pickles with this. Um, and I'll put the recipe down in the description of this video, but uh, today we're going to substitute this for cherry tomatoes. This is a really great way, uh, just a great use of your tomatoes that just will never ripen. Um, so at the end of the year, you know, whether or not you have a plant that got fusarium wilt or not, but at the end of the year, you're going to have plenty of clusters of tomatoes probably still on your vines. At least I do. So this is a great, just a great way to make use of that. So what we did here is we put the cherry tomatoes in here. We put it, you got a, tith, a toothpick here, and we just stabbed a hole in the side of the cherry tomatoes, each one, just one hole. And then we also put in um, some distilled white vinegar, um, some water. You want about, um, I think it's a two to one ratio of water to vinegar. So double the amount of water that you put vinegar in here. You also want about, you also want some pickling spice, you want some minced garlic, and you want some salt. And I guess any salt will do, but all that gets put in here, and we'll do that in a second. But once all that's in here, give it a nice shake, put the lid on, and then we're going to put this jar in a cool, dry place um, for about two weeks. And it really doesn't take that long, but maybe it will take longer for tomatoes than it will cucumbers. But this will pickle quite quickly, and it'll be a really tasty snack. Um, so I'm going to give these to my grandmother. that She loves this kind of stuff, so um, it'll be a nice gift. So anyway... That is the video, guys. I'm gonna put the recipe in the description um, with every, you know, probably a little bit more details than this. I just wanted to keep this nice and short and sweet and just talk about a nice little way you can turn your green tomatoes or really tomatoes that are not all that tasty, even though this is orange, like I said, it really didn't develop enough sugar in it because the plant had died. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.